We looked previously at the kinetic and potential energies involved in a planetary system, and we saw that no matter how complicated the system is, the total energy is always constant. There's an even more specific rule that governs these energies called the Virial Theorem. For a gravitational system, the Virial Theorem says that over time, the average value of the total kinetic energy is always negative one-half times the average value of the total potential energy. The way you calculate these averages is to take the integral of the energy with respect to time and divide by the total time you integrate it over. Our computer code can calculate these integrals inside the animation loop. Here we add together the total kinetic energy at the current time. Then we add this total times the time step to our current value for the integral. For a review of numerical integration, see the video linked in the description below. Then we divide by the total time to turn the integral into an average and graph the result. We follow a similar but longer procedure to calculate the total potential energy at the current time. Again, we add this total times the time step to our current value for the integral and divide by the total time. We multiply by negative 1 to match the formulation of the Virial Theorem. No matter how complicated our planetary system is or how long the simulation runs, the two averages continue to track with each other with the average potential energy always twice as much as the average kinetic energy, just like the Virial Theorem predicts.